Hello everybody, this is Exploding Jellyfish, and welcome to Getting Over It with Ben and Potty. I have not seen most of this game. Um, I saw the anger bits of Markiplier playing it, but I haven't seen the end, and I haven't experienced this game. I played Sexy Hiking, and I got past the first level. Uh, I was at school, to be honest. And uh, also, I know my mic quality is significantly worse. It's this new headset. Uh, I'm trying to get it fixed. So, uh, no more words need to be said. I know how uh, this game works, and we're going to start playing. Here's a little guy. Oh, the sensitivity is so low. Hold on. You know, when I watched the video about... Okay. When I watched the video about uh, Markiplier playing this, I thought, nah... He's probably just com uh, using the sensitivity as an excuse, but this is so weird. Oh my god. Alright, so if we get this, if we go carefully, there we go. We just have to be calm and confident. Alright, very slowly. Just lower myself down a bit. There we go. Feeling more intense than starting over. Mm -hmm. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, <coughs> or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the canoe, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just oh, returned Oh, darn. <laughs> Okay, I can see why this is angering, but I'm not gonna get angry. You're not ready for that. I hope not. If you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'm good, man. I uh, went through ten straight failures of Fort. I went through ten Thanks straight. Thanks with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Yeah. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Mhm. Mm Don't worry, I'll save your progress always. Even your mistakes. Yeah, I know. But uh, I have I I downloaded Fortnite today, and I've had ten straight failures with me and my friends, and I can't get get. You know what? I'm gonna just gonna skip forward until I get past this part. I'll do it eventually. Hi. Right. I feel this burning in my chest. I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna get angry at this game. I played Sexy Hiking, it should be fun, but it's, it's like Markiplier says, it's one of those games, oh sorry, I'm interrupting him, it's like one of those games where the physics are too fast when you're trying to go slow, and too slow when you're trying to go fast, alright, I'm going to keep it up here so I can get a good grip, and I'm going to do my strategy of going slow. Calm and collective. Okay, okay. We're still on the paddle. Good thing this game has no concept of physics. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, come on. I know Bennett Foddy doesn't have any, uh... Okay, and down we go. <laughs> Alright. I know uh, Bennett Foddy isn't a bad person. He's not trying to make people angry. He's just trying to make a fun experience. And I will not take that from him. Because he is a great man, no matter how much people hate him for making this game. Alright, wait, yeah, I have to do the jump thing, right? Huh. There we go. Calm and collected. Alright, there we go. Oh, my God. Yep. I expected that to happen. Honestly, this game does look very pretty, though. I don't know what it is about it. Like, I mean, I guess when you play Sexy Hiking, and if you know what that looks like, it's basically everything was made in MS Paint. <laughs> I mean, I can only assume. But this game is so beautiful. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me get back up there. Yeah, yeah, whoa, what's happening? Getting better at this game? What are you? I don't know. What's happening? 
<laughs> Alright, let's swing! Okay. I'm actually trying to do something here. You have to go backwards to go forwards. Like that. All right, and we have to use this to swing up. Sexy hiking is the perfect ah. embodiment of a B game. A B game? It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. Mm -hmm. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. Yeah. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Well, I mean, in that game there are checkpoints, though. You must remember, Mr. Bennett. Or, Mr. Foddy, sorry. <laughs> Mr. Bennett. It's like, it's like how teachers would say, uh, instead of, like, your last name, like, m saying Mr. Woodby. They're like, um, Mr. Corbin. I'm like, that's not my last name. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh! Okay, gonna go back up here and lay myself down like the pretty boy that I am. Sorry about that. It's all right, man. I believe in myself. Oh, it happened again. Mhm. Mm Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. Alright, thanks for the jazz, uh, the, the smooth music. <laughs> Even the, the size and, <laughs> the, the, not the size, but the, the, <sighs> size in the, our character's voice. I don't know what to call him. Does he have a name? Uh, until I find out, I'm just gonna call him, um, I'm just gonna call him Bennett, because... It feels like it fits because the maker's Bennett Foddy. I will not get angry at this game because I respect Bennett because he makes good games. It is very creative and smart of him to create this game. La da 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 Why did I start singing that theme? Ah! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, and we're down to the start. Ouch. You know, I didn't expect this to be this difficult. I mean, sexy hiking was definitely easier. Uh, now I understand Jacksepticeye's uh, title when he said, uh, getting over it, easy mode. You know, usually, you know, a lot of comments in, like, Markiplier's video, like, come on, Mark, it looks so easy. It's not. <laughs> it really, it really isn't. <laughs> and sorry if you can't understand, like, a word I'm saying. I don't know what it is with this headset. Yep. Yeah, ah, uh, is right. Alright, so let's lift ourselves right here. Perfect. Reach around. The edge. Ah, oh, is right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Just be very careful. Slowly lower ourselves down. There we go. Wrong way. Wrong way. Alright, there we are. Hup. Okay, it's okay, Bennett. It's okay. We're not okay. I think I'm I'm starting to understand this more. I'm not gonna say I'm I'm starting to get it because I most likely I'm not. Alright, here we go. Do the same plan. And just be mother trucking careful. Because there's no swear words on YouTube. And it doesn't matter anyways. Because later this February, my channel will be 
removed from the YouTube Partner Program, so I won't get paid. But I don't get paid anyways. In fact, I've only made around $15 in the last six years. <gasps> this thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Yeah, actually, that brings me up to a, uh, a reference to Vsauce 3. Uh, I'm going to leave the video because it's a very awesome video. It's called A Video About Not Making a Video. And it basically, Jake Roper, head of Vsauce 3, put a lot of effort into making a video about how he beats, sometimes is stressed out about not making a video. Sorry, this is very low, isn't it? <laughs> about how stressed he is about not making a video. Or how difficult it is to not get the video ideas right or to not get things. Uh, I'm, I'm doing badly explaining it, but there was a part in the video he said, <coughs> sorry, he didn't say that, he didn't say cough, cough, um, he said, uh, you don't fail anyway, unless, you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that walks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Uh, uh, sorry, he interrupted me. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna stop here to explain it for a minute. So. Jake Roper said, you only fail when you've said that you've failed. Because otherwise there's not still that thing in your mind that's saying, get up, you can do this, you have to keep going. But then you just want to slip dirt further and further into giving up and just calling it a failure and never coming back. Or, you get up and keep going. And then you don't fail. Because... I know this sounds really fucking stupid. I just realized I'm saying if you don't fail, you don't fail. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I still have a bit of a cough. That's kind of another big reason. And sexy hiking are unyielding. He and keeps that makes interrupting me. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. Mm hmm. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. Yeah. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. Mm -hmm. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault, as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. <clears throat> When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with Quickset Cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. Mm -hmm. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Yeah, I know the feel. Like For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects bought in a store, and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. <laughs> I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. Mm -hmm. Once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Mm -hmm. Alright, will you shut up for a minute? Uh, I mean, I'm not angry at him. I really am not. Uh, that's really interesting. Because, sorry, uh, I'm going to get back to what I was saying earlier in a second. But, as for what he said, I, it can feel that way. Uh, at least in I know in the respect of when uh, you create something and then you have an idea for an earlier part, but you can't build it without tearing apart of what, what you already have. Like, um, with my, uh, Pokemon game, 
uh, that I am working on. Link in the description, shameless plug. Uh, in the Pokemon game I'm working on, uh, there were bits and pieces that I'm like, no, no, that's not right. I have to, uh, like, now that I'm way past that moment, I'm like, I think I should change this part. But then I couldn't without, like, completely ruining the story or uh, piecing together what comes later. So I, I kind of understand what he means there. And as for earlier, um, I forget where I was back then. But it was something about, uh, what the hell? Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted. And when everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. The B movie. Oh no! Maybe this is what digital culture is. <laughs> I want to die. This mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain, a land <gasps> with everything we ever thought of in it, grand. Infinite. No, Infinite. please, no. <laughs> I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. All right. I'm going to take the second to get all my thoughts out. Jake Roper, you just want to keep slipping down, and when you fail, you just want to... It's so much easier to just give up and not... And just, like, can't it just all be not there? Can't it just be easy and simple? And then, you know, if you go that path, just everything crumbles. And, uh, so you gotta get up and keep going. Not because you want to, but because you need to. Uh, that last part, quote, Jake Roper. So that's pretty neat. And, uh, I think I got all my thoughts out. Now I'm just gonna try and recover to where I was. And my arm is, like, limp. I don't know. I don't feel angry at all. In fact, I laughed at it. I just realized that I, I laughed at what happened. But, like, my arm is now really weak, almost. And I know that down there... There we go. There we go. See? No failure lasts for long. Except for when that happens. All right, we're just going to end it here. Thanks, guys, for watching uh, part one, maybe, of getting over it with Bennett Foddy. And my boy Bennett here. His name is Bennett, and the creator is also Bennett Foddy. So uh, that was fun. To be honest, I'm having fun with this, but I'm feeling this weird energy flowing through my arms. And I'd say it's anger, but I don't know. It kind of just feels like a weakness. Like, <laughs> But we're going to get back to this, all right? So I'm actually excited to play this. But my friends want me to play some Overwatch. So, bye!